A stroll down Welshpool's high street and the warmth of the reception here matched the glorious spring sunshine. The walkabout is one of the Queen's trademarks and this was a leisurely affair. She took her time, stopping and chatting with some of the more than a thousand people who lined her route. And of course there were flowers. There are always flowers. Her visit to Welshpool had started an hour or so earlier in the town's livestock market, one of the biggest and busiest in Britain. Their children from local schools were in noisy form. Not that anyone seemed to mind, it all added to the excitement. We've had the most wonderful experience to see the Queen here. The children have had a wonderful day, so we're thrilled. Really, really thrilled. She just came, but then she, she looked at me. She actually looked at me. A day they'll all remember. Yes, they will, yes. Yeah, they're all excited, very excited children. And of course, the Queen just had to stop and check on the horses. Everyone knows how much she loves them. This part of the royal tour was all about showing off what's best of the Welsh countryside. Paris, of course, is Wales' most rural county. Sheep outnumber people here many times over. And along here, the Queen is seeing some of the breeds commonly found on the hills around Welshpool. Which is the bigger day, winning the Royal Welsh or meeting the Queen? Uh, well, yes, meeting the Queen would have to be the bigger day because that's, you, you can win round the shows all, off and on all the while, but you only get a perhaps once in a lifetime chance to meet the Queen. And in Welshpool it was the biggest of days, all hoping for that chance to meet the Queen. They'll be talking about the day she came for years to come, everyone with their own special memories.